now that we've left Colchester, we are heading to Alexandria. It's, I think it's about a 16 kilometer drive, but fortunately we're going to be going off the N2 and uh, heading away from it and then doing a coastal route around like that. I think that's going to be stunning. Is that where we pass a whole lot of dairy farms? Definitely. Oh, I used to love those black and white cows, eh? Uh, we'll see them again. See and smell them. That's for sure. <laughs> Filling station now. Sweet Swaziland Tambo. Sweet Swaziland mangoes. The taste of India curries. Durban bunny chows. They're from all over. Ciao. <laughs> Anaha <laughs> farm store. The place has changed so much since I've been here last.
Okay, can I please have two double pieces of this Drovors? It looks so nice. Yes. Two of them, please. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, bye bye. Well in yourself. Thank you. Thank you. What a cool place. You, it's changed so much. Three years ago, that filling station and that part of the of the farm, the store, whatever you call that. With KFC and Nanaga Express. Yes. That was built three years ago. Okay, part of them. Part of them, yes. All part of them. Everything all belongs to them. Because we haven't been here in a long, long, much longer than that. Yes. Now, what's interesting for me is I spoke to the manager and he said to me that they've been in existence for 45 years. Wow. Yeah. And they started off with making 12 pies a day. <gasps> and the 12 pies was just for their staff. On the farm. Okay. That 12 pies. Today, they do over a thousand pies a day. They bake it themselves. I, I, he told me how much uh, dough and stuff they use. I, I can't even remember what he said. And um, th that's how they've expanded over the 45 years. A thousand pies a day. And, and they, you say they almost sold out? They almost sold out. There's hardly anything left. And they do it all yeah. they bake it yeah. it doesn't get baked anywhere else they do it yeah. they make their mixes everything yeah, on site now it's quiet now i mean sometimes when we used to get here it was like full of cars yes no, incredible it's, and then another interesting thing is is that they support a charity and every rand that goes into the the toilet stalls they have to pay a rand to, get to use the toilet yes that, that, that money goes to the charity Fantastic. It's a good cause, yes. Yeah. Incredible. No, that was an interesting visit. Nice stop, yes. Give me my drove horse, please. <laughs> <laughs> Look how beautiful this scene is. Oh, so gorgeous. Now, on the side of that hill over there is a lot of cattle grazing. And I know dairy farms are huge in this area. I zoomed in a little, look there. That black and white one. Yeah, your favorite. Very interesting agricultural area this, eh? Yeah. Wow. And quite so a, beautiful. Quite a lot of different things they farm. Yes. Okay. Welcome to Chicory Country. Chicory SA. Wow! Alexandria! There we are! So this is on Route 72 you say? Yes. I'm very keen to check this place out. Also a place that one just drives through and never explores. Yes, eh? absolutely. I do remember it being chicory country. Yes. When we drove through here, through here, which must have been a good nine years ago. It's the golf course, yes. But further than that, I don't. I know nothing. Agriculture, agriculture and agriculture. That's it. Is what this place is about. All about agriculture. What a pretty church. Look at that. When I see a traffic light.
like not working. You think? I think it's like chilling, but it looks like that one hasn't been working for a long time. Oh, oh. Look at this building. What? So, is this all the church? I suspect it's a church. There's a a morning services, yes. Um, but if we go a little bit forward, oh no, it's another morning services sign. Go a little bit forward, we might see the name. It's no. the Dutch Reformed Church. There is written in Kerk, often in style. Oh, okay. Yes, it's a beautiful Dutch Reformed Church, eh? It is. Wow. And big, eh? Massive. Frontier. That is gorgeous, eh? I can unfortunately not see a lot I'm of not, it. I'm just waiting for this car to come by and then I'm going to go down this road in front of it. Oh, yes, it is beautiful. 1924. 1924, yes. Is that what it says? Built in 1835. National Monument, you see. It says it was built in 1835 and rebuilt in 1924. Oh, there we go. It's, it looks 1835 or 95, I can't see. I just want to zoom in and check that out. If you park behind this bucky, yes. you should be alright. Oh, they must have had damage or something. Oh, usually when something goes wrong, it's a fire, but it's a beautiful building. Eh? 29 years after it was originally built. Oh, then something must have gone wrong. Yeah, that's very young. Yeah. I just want to go back to the main road. <laughs> Look at this tree. Yeah, this is astonishing. Hi. Wow. Look how the roots creep over the curb. <laughs> so almost like the forest vibe here. It is, eh? What happened to your plans to go back to the main it's road? So one way. <laughs> oh! I wanted to say something derailed them. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a one way now. The Anker. I wonder if they ever get sun here because of all these massive trees. Wow. So this is another very old town. Yeah. I believe it's got um, 1820 settlers history, which I can't find. Um, it and has, foot history as well. And foot tracker history. And it was established in the mid 18th century. So the church being built in 1895, so maybe 1850s they started coming here. Yeah, and settling here. Yeah, 1820 settlers and the four trackers. And they say there was this area was also inhabited by the San and Koi wow. plus Kosa people. Yeah. That's incredible. But more than that I can't find in my quick searches. Hello, handsome. Hey, Guni. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. What? Look at the this church bird. bell. <laughs> Diocese of Port Elizabeth. Anglican Church. The Anglican Church. Look at that church bell. Nine, go a bit forward. This wall was erected in memory of those comrades who fell during World War II. Yes, it's 1939 19. to 1945. How interesting is this? That it says here it's the Anglican Church of South Africa. 
but it doubles up as an Anglican and a Methodist church. Combined services of Anglican and Methodist services last Sunday of the month, and then even numbered months is the Anglican, and then odd numbers is the Methodist. <laughs> that's that's that's, that's a excellent way of sharing a facility. Eh? Love that. This stone here was laid by Private Noel Smith from the 1st SA Infantry in memory of those from this district who served in the Great War, the First World War, 1914 to 1990, August the 2nd, 1919. the big property can't see a cornerstone or anything that says how old the church is. You can definitely see it's not a young church anymore, especially with that cornerstone of the guy who, uh, from the 1st Infantry Division, who laid a cornerstone here in 1919 in honour of those who passed away in the First World War. So it's definitely more than a hundred years yes, old. Yes, but I can't see anything else seeing when it was built, you know. It's still in great shape. Uh, well looked after. You can see it's looked after very well. And how fantastic that the Anglican and Methodist yeah. Church uh, services are, are, are held here. Yeah, they share the place. Odd and even months. <laughs> Just one year younger than the in here church. Interesting, eh? Hey? So you'll find this interesting. The town was initially called Olifant's Hook because what? of more than two hundred thousand elephant which lived in the area. You not serious. Which is the gateway to the Addo area. And it was renamed in 1873 to Alexandria. Let the chickens cross, mind you. <laughs> to Alexandria after Alexander Smith, yes. a Scottish minister of the Dutch Reformed Church in Utenaig. Wow. So it was first Olifant's hook. It was. That's wild. Man. Yeah. I also thought so. You know what I'm impressed about? It's clean. Look, there's no litter. There is no litter now that you mention it. Seriously, there's no litter. You see there, it says, still says Olifant's Motors. <laughs> So here are the dark Eastern Cape winter afternoons. Yes. It's not even five o'clock and look at it. Yeah. That's incredible. Well, we lose sunlight here very quickly. I've forgotten. BKB retail shop. That's the animal feed yeah. company. 
Chikri SA Limited loading. This is the Chikri factory. Okay. So it's the second largest chicory factory in the world. Yes. Serious? Yes. Crazy. I could hear that didn't sink in the first time. Yeah, I'd like to look, huh? The second largest in the world. That's incredible. Oh, it's cool. It's cool when our country can achieve things like that, yeah, eh? Yeah. These guys are Going, going home, home. Yeah. after a long day of working in the chicory factory. So chicory is what they mix in with um, coffee, right? Yes. Is how we know it at least. Yep. We're not coffee snobs, so I think we've we've had our fair share of chicory oh, over that's the for years. Why sure. coffee is full of chicory? <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to a hundred percent coffee. Yes. Oh, and they say not far from here, but I don't know exactly where, is the southernmost pineapple farm in the southern hemisphere. Oh, okay, that would have been nice to see. Let me see if I've got my brain around that properly. That sounds a bit confusing. It does, eh? The southernmost pineapple farm in the southern hemisphere, they say. So it's dairy, it's chicory. And it's pineapple. Pineapples are the three main main agricultural activities we can um, find. Okay. This is a big, big, big facility. Uh, it's massive. Well, second largest in the world. That says a lot. You can see how many people work here. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. So chicory has got cute little purple flowers it seems. I thought it was a, well I suppose it is a bean, but it's got a purple flower too. It's not a bean, it's a herb. Okay. A herb? Yeah, chicory is a herb. So is it, does it come from the flower or does it come from the root? No, you're asking questions which I cannot answer. Okay. So you can answer that question. I, I can now. <laughs> so my purple is their blue. They say usually bright blue flowers, really white or pink. Okay. And it says their roots are baked, ground and used as a coffee substitute and a food additive. So, so I think roots. it's the chicory root. Okay, cool. Eh? Interesting. I always thought it was a bean chicory. I didn't know it was the root. Well, I think we, we assumed that because we knew that coffee. to re-coffee, for example, chicory was added. And we would have assumed that because coffee is a bean, it would be a bean. Yeah, I that's just definitely thought that. Not that I've ever given chicory one thought. I once drank uh, just chicory drink. Oh, yeah, they speak about chicory yeah. drinks here. Yeah. It tastes very similar to coffee, but... And it smells very similar too. But it doesn't have the kick coffee has. <laughs> now, off of the subject of chicory... And pineapples. Let's look at the station. Oh, no! Yonks and yonks. Check out the trees are growing. But you know what's amazing is that the roof tiles are still on. It That's is definitely less vandalization of the abandoned buildings in this area. Yeah. This is totally overgrown, eh? Where do we find the tracks? I don't know if the tracks are still here. So would that have been a railway house? See at the back. There's the tracks. Here we go. This is the station. Okay, okay there are the tracks on. So, oh, all right. Wow. So this gravel road's very potholy. Yep. Oh, and that was definitely rail. an old railway house. Yeah, and this is the railway house. 
I'm talking about it. Oh, okay. The back one must have been too. Yes. Oh, no, I think that was the railway building. No, not the house, that one. Oh, you must have missed the house. There's another one. Go back. There's another house exactly like this. Oh, really? I didn't see that. I just want to go down here and then I'll come back. Oh, it looks mm. interesting. It does look interesting, eh? There's quite a few tracks here, eh? One, two, three oh. sets. Do you want to go check the rust on them? <laughs> They're not working, that's for sure. <laughs> This is an old original corrugated. corrugated. Yeah. Look at the kitchen stove with the kitchen yes, stove on the outside. I see. Wow. Still standing. Yeah. Alexandria is quite an impressive place. I am impressed. Agriculturally wise, eh? Look at those. Those must have also been station buildings. Definitely. Hey? I must I wonder if the because this line comes here and the chicory factory is close to this station or um, siding that they used to transport their stuff on the chicory or whatever they produced or whatever they brought in firstly with the trains but now they do it via trucks again I suppose I have no idea how old chicory SA is that's one thing I haven't looked up yet so you could be right depending on when they started yep so this is the one yes and then here's another Oh, there it is. Look, it's just painted. Oh, yes. Definitely all railway houses. For sure. But I'm telling you, for me, this hasn't been operational. For yonks. I want to call it 30. 30. Years. Yeah. yeah, at least. Yeah. Definitely. Now, this has been out of action for many years. I'm going to see if I can quickly find while we're driving out here how old it is. Chicory was first introduced for commercial use in South Africa in 1895. Which there would you go. Chicory is uh, situated in the Alexandria area where the bulk of chicory is produced and is responsible for the supply of both local and international clients. So you must, you must be right. So yeah. they say, common chicory is a somewhat woody, perennial, herbaceous plant of the daisy family, usually with bright blue flowers. I'm glad I found the station. Yeah, I can imagine the name boards might still be there, but be completely overgrown. <laughs> yes. We haven't often seen one where the tracks are this much overgrown yeah. have we no we haven't only maybe scumby where these huge trees were growing in it look at this huge tree that yeah. fall yeah but this one the tracks are totally overgrown yeah as as in completely yeah. wow so we have run out of daylight <laughs> i'm telling you it's so frustrating that it gets dark so early It now. does though. Oh, how pretty this is. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with Alexandria. Me too. With the size and um, the people seem to be active. 
lots of activities, lots of shopping, yeah. karate or taekwondo is a thing. Big time, yeah. I see them walking in and out the shop with their belts on. Did you? Yes. So they obviously have classes on it, Tuesday? Yes. So, uh, yeah. Things are happening. And they're used to the Eastern Cape chilly evenings because they all wear short sleeves. <laughs> My short sleeves are starting to bug me a little. Yeah, I'm still in short sleeves. And I'm okay at this stage, but I can feel it cooling down very quickly. Golf club? Yes. I bet you would have liked to see this when it was still a bit light. Yeah, I would have. I would have liked it. It's look yeah. nice and green. Yeah, it does. Look at the fairways. Wow. wow. Okay. Bed and breakfast, golf lodge, not what? Well, that <laughs> would make sense. Yes. Social development and agriculture and rural development. Okay. Okay, interesting. It's quite a big facility. It is. And it looks fairly new to me. It looks, it looks in a good condition. How cool is this? I wonder if there's anything written on it. I wonder what cross this is. You might have to run over quickly. Oh, let me do that. There's nothing written on this. Is it just a marker for the cemetery? To show that the cemetery is here? This is where the cemetery is. But we're losing daylight, so... Wow! What a pity. What I suspect that cross might be is a marker just to show where the cemetery is because there's nothing written on it. That could be. That's quite interesting. I've never seen never one seen like that it. then. No, I haven't seen that. But yeah, you may be right. So I know there were a few other things we still wanted to see, but yeah, we've run time, out of time has gotten away from us. The the, the day ends too quickly here. Um, it's just dark already, so there's nothing yes. more we can check out. Yeah. And the days also start later. <laughs> so That's we've true. lost we've lost about three hours of daylight. But it was fantastic. Yeah. I'm very happy to have seen Alexandria away from this road. Yes, definitely do. I've gone off of the main road. And also what impressed me is how clean it is. Yeah. I really you keep don't on see mentioning litter. it and it's true. It's there's, true. No, there's no litter around. It's like that's mind blowing. And it looks like a, to me, like a hard-working, active town is what it looks like it to does. me. It does. It does. Yeah. Lots of uh, agricultural activities going on here. Well, yeah. You mentioned them all, so. And let's hope the dinner we bought at Save More at Spa. Yes. Is good. Well, if, if it tastes like it smells, it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Uh, it was great coming to Alexandria.